what happens when you have multiple failures or you have a fault while you're replacing a backup module? It's going to be very messy. You're going to have to write a lot of reports because your plant tripped. You had a loss of view, a loss of control. There's safety risks whenever that happens, whenever you have a plant shut down. You want to avoid that. And so what we're going to show today is how the control hive can deliver a step change in system availability. What we have here is our standard two meter cabinet filled with C300 controllers, we got some CN100s, we got plenty of universal I.O. And it's important to note that the control hive is delivering some, some new architectural features, but it's all built on field proven technology. The C300 controllers have millions of hours of runtime and we're leveraging the controller redundancy infrastructure to provide bumpless controller failover and capabilities like long process migration. So let's start by simulating a fault by simply removing one of the controllers that are running under power. Thanks, Brian. The system view clearly shows the control hive behavior. On controller failure, the backups of the affected primaries immediately assume control, as seen here for the fractionator on controller 5. The fractionator and furnace CEs are highlighted in yellow, while their backups are established and synchronized, after which the control hive returns to a fully backed up state. At this point, with a reduced spare capacity, as indicated in the capacity summary, a mouse over on the fail controller highlights what has changed. The primary fractionator failover to controller 5, the furnace backup moved to controller 2, and the new fractionator backup initiated on controller 1. All right, now it gets interesting. We're going to introduce a second fault. Now, unlike traditional one-on-one -on -one redundancy, it doesn't matter which controller is impacted. We're just going to pick one of Jim's remaining five C300s and we're gonna pull it out. No impact to the equipment, no impact to the IO, and no loss of control. Jim, how does the system status summary look? The second incident really illustrates the robustness of the control hype, Brian. After the second failure, the gas plant control seamlessly fails over, and then backups for the gas plant and reactor CEs are reestablished. At this point, the control hive has lost one third of its compute power and remains completely solid and is even capable of withstanding yet another bad event 